The LEGO Minecraft tutorial world is my most recent project, and I'm building this setup around my gaming PC. But today I'm taking a break to talk about some exciting channel announcements while I build the Skeleton Dungeon, set 21189. It's an older one that came out in August 2022. So first things first, if you play Minecraft, you are really going to want to hear this. I'm going to build six of your requests on my LEGO gaming PC setup. First thing you do is either build a 16x16 16 16 chunk or select a 16x16 16 16 piece of a world in Minecraft, screenshot it from several angles, then submit it to my Discord server. Try to keep it simple. The cutoff is on January 31st at 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time. The following day, there will be multiple polls on my server for everyone to submit their votes. The six that win will be built around my gaming computer. Yay. And then it'll come out in future content. I don't have an exact date on when because it will depend on the request and how complicated the builds are. Once I build the six submissions, I'll be sure to give all of those involved a YouTube channel shout out. In the meantime, I'll finish the LEGO Minecraft tutorial world which will be covered in my next long form video. After that, I'm building a full size chunk around the motherboard with multiple biomes and cutouts. I'm real excited. This is going to be 300 studs high on a 32 by 32 base plate. So it will be the largest mock build I've ever done and it will be a massive computer case. I plan on integrating at least four cooling fans to the chunk to keep the PC hardware cool. Now for some requests since the last video. Neon Galaxon asked for a cactus, so I built one and added a campfire to go with it. Then Judimento suggested marshmallows for the fire, which was a lot of fun. Angle This asked for a fish or two in the water and some sugar canes. Then Soldier G asked for a fishing dock. Cade requested hot dogs for the fire, and this was fun because I couldn't make a decent hot dog, so this minifigure got sacrificed instead. And honestly, I think it's better this way anyways. Lastly, several of you asked for a sniffer, so I went to work and built this beautiful mock. That's all I have for now. Keep the request coming and I'll continue to do my best. Shout out to my son for adding this villager that has a smartphone for sale. Many figures are battling over here and this girl's just back there eating a croissant. More battles are going on up front between the skeletons and the spider is about to go after Steve, but he's got a marshmallow on his stick. We have even more battles over here and the sniffer is eating some hay. Real fun story you got going on here, bud. Thanks for sharing. Now let's talk about the skeleton dungeon I've been building. Okay, so the main reason why I bought this set is for the parts and the minifigs. We got three skeletons, one with enchanted armor, and a spawner skeleton, which is super cool, and the cave explorer, and then the spawner itself. In the chest, we have a music disc, piece of bread, and a bone. I really like how this set is spawned in between a lush cave and a dripstone cave. There's a fun little play feature here that causes the dripstone to fall on the skeletons. That's pretty cool. Another play feature that's fun is the spinning wheel for the spawner to replicate the way it is in the game. And then the wall is on a turntable to give us the ability to spawn skeletons. Pretty cool. Like I mentioned before, this is an old set and it's supposed to have retired December 2023. So if you want this set but don't have it yet, hurry up and purchase before the price goes through the roof. I hope you're excited to see how I integrate this set into the chunk I build, and I can't wait to see what some of you submit in my Discord server. Check out the server invite link in the about section of this channel. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see y'all next time.